Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gina and today we are doing our September bullet journal spreads, monthly spreads more specifically. We are uh, using a new bullet journal for this month and these are the stickers that I'm going to be pulling stickers from. The sticker book are both from Live Love Posh. I'm going to link them down below. They are the fall collection from last year. She just released a new one and... Currently, I think, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, it should be available. But either way, I'm going to link them below. I'm waiting for mine because I purchased a new one from her. She's amazing. I love her. And I'm going to be doing a simple one-page cover uh, with the lettering being the focus of the page. I did a, a, a abbreviation of the month of September with the year with a black tombow marker. And I'm using uh, this burgundy color, I think it is, pen, for uh, an accent from the shadow effect. Uh, um, that color is, I, I usually use a, a color that is different from the one I'm going to be doing the shadow to make a statement. And I'm using two different mine liners. One is this uh, brown and the other one is like a beige. It, they both are from the neutral set of mine liners that are my favorite. And to do to deepen the if, a shadow in the lettering, and I and combine the color from the flowers as well, and I loved how it turned out. Simple and make a statement like I how I like it. And in the other page, what I'm doing is the September goals. That's what I listed my goals for the month. Constantly look for that page to make sure that everything goes. As planned and it's been working for me very well right now what I'm going to do is a monthly calendar for my house management I use the list method from writer Carol and I do it in the middle of the page instead of the beginning of the page to uh, immediately divide the spreads into category so my left page it's gonna be my husband and daughter's monthly schedule and my right page is my house schedule that's what i'm doing in eh, numbers right now i'm doing the house schedule i divide that even further i make a line next to it so i divide it even further for more categories of it right now i'm doing the habits these habits in particular are my daily chores so uh, those are my habit trackers and my house calendar one for events and the other one for uh, projects in the house and the daily chores next to it. And in the other page, I'm doing my daughter's. One is for her personal. When I list her symptoms, if she has anything, she gets sick of anything, I track it there. And uh, in the school schedule, that is important for me to keep track of. My daughter is developing her immune system. She's new to school and she's been sick left and right. It's important for me to keep track of when the symptoms start and ends and what happens so I can tell her doctor what happened and get the proper treatment for it. I also have my husband's schedule and a space for notes. Uh, if I had to notate something that happened on a particular day in the house or with a family member of anything, I list it there in the notes section so I can keep track of it just for track purposes. And this being working so well for me, I'm using this uh, Crayola, Crayola Colors of the World to do to highlight the, the weekend so I can divide my weeks and weekends like that. And I, I like this color because I think match better this beige color than a light gray that I usually use a light gray. But I felt that this beige color matched even better than the light gray that I, I always use. And uh, right now I'm going to do the um, to-do list. It's like a bring down page for to-dos for my house. I divide the category in a home to-do list, my daughter's to-do list, and other to-do lists that fall in any other category. And it's been working really well for me to divide my to-dos that I have to do in the month. And the priority that I have to do in the month and put it in their particular category so I know to visualize. I'm a visual person, I'm a visual learner, and I can visualize more when I all the important things that I have to do. Right now, I'm doing my weekly chores. 
uh, it's like an Alistair method type of spread when I list my weekly chores and I have the weeks from one to four next to it and I can check uh, what room I cleaned in that week or the groceries been done in that week and all of that. And it, it keeps me on track of what needs to get done and where. Uh, next to it is the monthly to-do list. And right now I'm doing the bill tracker. A short bill tracker. Uh, our bills have changed this month and our incomes as well. So I need to do a bill tracker just to kind of um, plan how things are going to move forward bill-wise because um, we need to adjust our budget right now. So that's why, but I typically don't do the bills there. I have another place for them, but this is why I include them there. And a space for projects if I have a project in the house that I need to get done in a major scale. So now that I've done with, uh, with my home management spreads, that as a mom and wife, these are very important for me and take the majority of my plan of my planner. Now I'm doing my own personal monthly spreads and to-do list. Um, same list method. This time I did it in the beginning of the page and divided the columns with these lines. One for personal, when I list my appointments and any social events that I have to go, if any birthdays that I have to keep in mind, stuff like that. My day job, my YouTube schedule, and social media, I am affiliate for Ashton and Olive, so I need to keep in mind certain events that they do to promote. And if my old planner companies and sticky companies that I love have sales and releases to know where they're going to happen so I can buy this stuff. So that's what I'm going to include in the social. Or if I put a TikTok or an Instagram post, also I put it there. I post things in TikTok, and, uh, not as much as I post here on YouTube, but I try my best to do that. You can find me with the same name. I'm on TikTok as well. And next week, I'm just going to put a to-do list and some notes for myself. Uh, to me, it's important to divide my, my personal planner from my family calendar because it makes me feel like I am someone else besides a mom and a wife. So now I am doing a quick flip through of all the spreads that I have done. This is part one. Part two next Saturday is going to be me doing the wellness spread. So stay tuned for that. Hope you like it and like and subscribe.